The easiest way to freshen up or completely transform any space in your home is a new coat of paint. The quickest way to do it is to do it right. A sloppy paint job will stand out and not in a good way. So follow the five P's of painting a room. Prep, patch, prime, paint, and paint a second coat. Paint from the top down to cut down on touch-ups. First ceilings, then walls, then trim. Also starting from the top and working down. Doors are last because you'll be going in and out of them. Good prep saves a lot of time because you'll have fewer drips, spatters, and mistakes to clean up. So remember, drape it and tape it. Clear the walls and push the furniture into the middle of the room so you can cover it with drop cloths and move around them easily when you paint. Remove small nails or fasteners, switch plates, and outlet covers. Tape the screws to the back so they won't get lost. Use painter's tape to mask off permanent fixtures and semi-permanent items like curtain rods if it's easier to paint around them than to rehang them later. And use tape to mask off the ceiling trim, fireplaces, and adjoining areas. Run your finger or a putty knife over the tape to seal the edge to prevent leaks. You always want to paint on a smooth, sound surface. Fill in dents, chips, and fine cracks using a putty knife and spackle. Gently scrape away the excess and allow the spackle to dry. Run your hand over the wall, and if you feel bumps from unsanded patches, old drips, or excess spackle, lightly smooth them out with a sanding sponge or fine grit sandpaper. Quick dry spackle, or the kind that changes color as it dries, helps you save some time and guesswork. Now wash and rinse. Washing removes dust, grease, soot, and paint gloss that can ruin your new paint finish. About 1 8 to 1 quarter cup of TSP in a bucket of warm water gets the best results for painting prep. Otherwise, use water and ammonia or a detergent like Mr. Clean. Rinse with plain water to remove residue from the cleaner. If you're using a paint and primer in one, you can usually skip this step. If not, a primer works like a concealer or a base coat to get even color. If you don't prime over a patch, the spackle will absorb paint differently, causing spot discoloration. And if you're painting over deep colors or designs, or if you've tested different colors on the wall, it can show through. Brush a roll primer on, and while you're letting it dry, get set up to paint. Paint about a 4-inch outline at the edges of the ceiling, trim, or built-in features. It's called cutting in. This buffer zone helps you to roll the paint on without bumping adjoining surfaces. One trick to cutting in is don't overload the brush. Dip your paintbrush about 3 quarters of the way into the paint, then lightly scrape away the excess. Once you have an edge, get ready to roll. Fill the tray just up to the ramp. Dip the roller into the paint and roll it back and forth on the pan until an even coat covers the roller surface or nap. Roll the paint onto the wall in a zigzag pattern to spread the paint out evenly and hide the stroke marks. To blend in all the edges, work in sections of about 3 to 4 feet, overlapping the edges so they blend in. Finish with a top to bottom and left to right stroke. When you take a break, cover your paint tray with plastic and store brushes and rollers in a baggie so they won't dry out. Once your first coat of paint is dry, a second coat is a must for true color and a professional looking paint job. When your second coat is dry, all that's left is a little cleanup and putting things back in their place. Before you remove your painter's tape, lightly score the edge with a utility knife. If you don't, you might peel off the paint while you're removing it. Latex paint cleans up easily, but the more it dries on your tools, the longer it takes to clean off. Clean with soap and water while the paint is still wet. Save leftover paint for touch-ups. Store it in the can or a tightly sealed container. Note where you use the color right on top of the can label. If there's no paint left over, you'll want some way to match the color if you need more later. Keep a sample with a note of the brand, sheen, and color formula from the label on the can. A quality paint takes fewer coats to get even coverage and true color, and you'll get less spattering and dripping. Premium brushes and rollers show fewer brush marks. They cover more evenly and won't shed into your paint job. For more helpful tips and advice, visit your neighborhood Ace or find us online at acehardware.com.